That's why you need 26 and 27 aspects. I was very shocked to know what actually toppers do. That is what every student tells me when I tell them the truth of exactly how a topper's timetable looks like. Now, when I say topper, I do not mean all in the rank one necessarily. It could be anyone who is getting, you know, 650 plus, close to 700, or basically is in the top four, 5,000 rank. So, there is a general thing which students do, because if you just look at all in the rank one, that is very specific. But we are just talking about the general topper crowd. What is very common among them? What is one common trait which I always find very different from the other students who are missing out on it? So I am here to reveal the truth because when you ask someone, they might not tell you. But me being a teacher, having taught for more than 13 years, I have guided, mentored. I know in and out what students do. So in a way, I'm going to disclose it. And see, you should also understand that this is not one of those fancy videos which you might have seen on the internet or YouTube where, you know, suddenly one magic timetable will come and, you know, oh, I follow this timetable, sir, done, sir. No, I'm here to not give you a sweet, uh, you know, statement which will be very pleasing to your ears. No, in fact, I will give you a reality check. So the truth is, my dear students, when I interviewed, when I have guided, mentored, one thing is common with all the toppers, be it NEET or be it J. See, it's not like they follow a very strict schedule. Like, okay, 6 o'clock means I will have to get up. Oh, 7 o'clock, I have to do this. 8 o'clock, I have to do this. 10 o'clock, I have to do this. Rather, they have some anchor points. Like, for example, I need to, you know, wake up. I need to wake up. For example, it could be, say, 7 o'clock. 7 a.m. For some person, it might be, ah, sir, I'm going to wake up at 4 a.m. Some other person will say, sir, I wake up at 5 a.m. That is perfectly fine. Every person will have their own thing. So, based on that, you have your sleep timing. That means, when are you going to sleep? So, maybe you are waking up at 7. So, maybe you can stay awake till 12 o'clock. If you are, you know, getting up very early, maybe you will have to sleep a little bit early maybe at 9 o'clock. Who knows? Somebody will say, no, sir, I'll sleep at 8 o'clock. This guy will say, sir, I'm going to sleep at 10 o'clock. So, for every person, the timing will be different. But roughly around 7 hours of sleep is needed. Beyond that, not required. It is on the higher side, considering that you have a year or two for cracking the NEET exam and it is a very competitive, intense examination. 7 hours on an average is good enough. Okay? Having said that, what they do is, they include their coaching time in between. Okay, this is my coaching time. Okay, for somebody else, this might be the coaching time. For somebody else, maybe the coaching is in the evening. So, that slot is gone. So, that slot is gone. That slot is gone. So, now, whatever free time is there between this to this, it's all yours. This coaching time, school time is all included in that yellow part. The rest of the time is theirs. Now, this part, they utilize it completely as much as possible. They waste very little time in eating or some random activities like having bath. Some student takes bath for half an hour. Not needed. Five minutes, ten minutes, more than enough. You will be clean. Having dinner or breakfast, maybe 10-15 minutes is good enough for having breakfast. Isn't it, my dear students? Do you guys agree with it? So, there are a lot of things where you can save up a lot of time. Sometimes it could be even you might be feeling like you are studying, but it is a waste what you are doing. Like, uh, for example, you are solving a book which is not needed or you are doing very difficult questions. Some students said, sir, I am solving J advanced question for need. Not needed. You can just do the need questions, but the harder PYQs or the harder questions. Some students might be, you know, doing some board level stuff for NEET. See, if you just do NCRT level stuff for NEET examination, it is no longer going to be enough. You have to do more than that. Agree or disagree? Yeah. So, a lot of times you might be wasting time knowingly or unknowingly. Maybe 
you are thinking that I am getting educational content on YouTube, but you might get carried away and watch some random other video. So, you know, you might get distracted. So, it's always recommended that you like this video because when you like this video, YouTube understands that you are interested in studies. So, it will not show you that distraction video. So, I hope you have liked this video. So, these are the anchor points, meaning these are the like, you know, main points which students keep in mind. And according to that, they adjust their timings for studying. But they don't have a proper fixed timetable. That is the main truth. It's not like, sure, they have a magic timetable. At this time, they will study. That's why their brain develops so much. Nothing like that. Do they do like this? Oh, today I will do only chemistry. Tomorrow, physics and biology. Tomorrow, you know, zoology only. No, they don't fix those things. They, they don't even sit every night or every week. Okay, this is what I have to do in this week. See, what happens is with most of, most of the toppers, they know today in coaching, this chapter is going to happen. So, they know for that chapter to start or for this topic to start, these are the questions I need to solve. This is the theory which I need to read. So, they solve those questions. They complete their homework. They complete their DPPs. They complete PYQ solving beforehand only. And after the class, whatever new they learn, they proceed with the more practice, more problem solving, note making, whatever it is. So mainly, see guys, they just go with the flow. It's not like, uh, you know, they are planning everything in advance. It's a very natural flow. It's a very, uh, very, uh, I would say, uh, accommodative and adaptive flow that they have. It's not very rigid that I have to study this. Also, they keep in mind that they do not just concentrate on one or two subjects, which happens majorly with need aspirants. Correct me if I'm wrong. You might be only focused on biology or that too, mainly zoology. So botany is little less, chemistry even less, physics though gone only. So that also they don't do. They balance it out. They make sure that everything is done in equal proportions as much as possible. If some, some subject is strong, for example, zoology is strong. So you won't waste more time on zoology. In fact, you will finish it off in one hour. It's not like, sir, I love zoology. I'll keep on doing zoology. No, my weak subject is chemistry or physics. I will do more physics problems. I'll spend more time on, you know, understanding the concepts. That's how they balance the time. Is this absolutely clear? So, this is a very clear message. Please don't go and search more YouTube videos or search on the internet. What, sir, give me a timetable, sir. Sir, tell me what time I should study. There is nothing like that. They go with the flow. They see there is an opportunity. They take it. They see there is free time. They study. They don't waste time. They don't have distractions. They don't have other thoughts in their mind. When they are on the study table, they don't think about anything else. When they are solving a problem, they focus on solving the problem. It's not that they are dreaming about AIMS, AFMC, etc. They utilize their time 100%. Many times it happens, you have made a timetable. Five hours I have to study, three hours I have to study. In that three hours, you are just sitting, sleeping, changing position. No. They have a place to study. It need not be a fancy room. Many students study in one room only where everybody is there. But they have a dedicated corner in that room, in this particular place. I am going to sit and study. I am not going to waste my time. They know this is the place where I have to be very, very strict and sincere and consistent. So that is what is so special about toppers. And one more thing about toppers, they don't waste too much time making notes. Because... Notes are already there. Teacher has given notes, for example. Or maybe you have uh, the coaching material which has given you the notes. Or maybe you have uh, already taken a drop. Last year you had made those notes. So those notes are already there. So many times toppers, they think that why to waste time making notes? Instead, I will watch lectures. I will read theory. And I will solve more and more problems. Because note making is not going to save you any marks. In fact, I would advise use the flashcards like this. It's like the entire physics is in this flashcard. So say for example, you want to revise tomorrow for some particular topic. 
okay say for example friction all the topics are there in this subtopics formulas diagrams charts everything you don't have to sit and make notes newton's laws of motion example like this so tomorrow if there is a test they sit revise the flashcards they don't waste time because imagine making these notes is going to cost you so much of time and energy or even for biology you can show you the notes many toppers have been using this guys these are the flashcards which we have at vedantu so you can get it delivered for example this is structure of kidneys okay so beautiful diagrams beautiful charts everything you can get it couriered at your doorstep the link is there in the description box of this particular video only you can uh, see neat quick revision cards you can click on this particular link and yes uh, you would see discount coupon code everything has been applied for just 1499 rupees when you fill this address it will be delivered at your place so mainly the thing is guys don't follow a very very strict timetable be adaptive be accommodating go naturally don't waste time utilize maximum time for problem solving decent time for theory and watching lectures apart from that don't waste too much time making notes that's how you can utilize your fullest of the fullest potential is that clear awesome perfect 